hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i'm back with another problem statement in react javascript so you can see here we have a problem statement which is build a dynamic form generator develop a dynamic form generator that takes a configuration object and dynamically render a form based on the provided specifications so we have to create a dynamic form using react javascript and react hooks so if you're new to my channel make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss the awesome videos so without wasting much time let's get started so first of all i will create react arrow functional component and export after that i will modify our jsx i will write section create one div so i will create one form and uh, i will give the class name uh, landing section and uh, in the div i will give the class name as row and uh, container after that i will write one div and inside div i will create one input tag so input type will be text and then placeholder will be name and then name will be name and then value will be uh, so for the value we have to create the use state so i will import use state from react I will create one use state which is form data set form data and uh, it will be a object now I will write fields and inside I will write name and value so basically we have to map the form uh, with this form data state and on the basis of the on click we will generate one another form so for that uh, i will just cut this div and i will write form data dot fields dot map i will write one field index and i will paste this div here and form as a document so after that i will pass this key as index and then inside the value i will write field dot name so i will copy this input tag again paste it down here and i will write field dot value we will write on change and inside on change will be a callback function so we will pass e as a synthetic event and we will write one function which is yet to be defined handle input change and inside parenthesis i will write index and will pass e after that copy this function and i will write const handle input change it will accept two things one is the index and another one is the event I will write const new fields equals to form data dot fields. After that, I will write new fields index and event dot target dot name is equals to event dot target dot value so i will update the final state set form data to the final object which is fields and it is equal to the new fields so by this we can update the object so after this input tag i will create one button and inside i will write remove okay so if one want to remove the fields then here she can easily remove so i will write type is equals to button i will write one on click function and uh, it is a callback function so i will write i will write remove field in camel case and uh, it will accept as index as parameter and then uh, i will define this function for the remove field 
so above the handle change i will write const remove field is equals to index const new fields form data dot fields after that new fields dot splice index 1 set form data fields equals to new fields so it will remove the fields from there so after this div i will copy the same button and paste it down here and we'll format a document and instead of remove i will write add field add field and i will define this function above this remove field i will write const add field arrow function of javascript i will update the set form data I will write fields get the previous fields by form data dot fields and then name will be the blank string and then value will be the blank string so by this we can add any fields okay so after that uh, you can create one button also for the summit also so first of all we will just navigate to our server and uh, we will see that how the things are working so we will write localhost slash challenge 33 so you will see something like this uh, so we have this remove and add field and i think i have to add some spacing so i can give the class name to mt2 Okay, so now if I write, say, let's suppose if I write Ritwik and uh, okay, so both fields have the name attribute. So I will change this to value and V capital. After that, let's suppose if I write uh, value as okay, after refreshing, I think something is wrong. Okay, I'm not able to type anything in the value part. So I have to check. Okay, so I think I got the problem. Uh, we have this. The name is equal to name. It will not name. It will be value. So after saving this file, uh, you can see if I refresh the web page, if I write Ritwik in the name section and value will be 23, let's suppose. And uh, if I create a add field, then another field will be created. And same, I can write anything in this value. And let's suppose if I want to remove the first one, so the first one will get removed. And same for the second one also. So that is something. Uh, so you can also create one submit button so what you can do uh, after this add field create one button and inside button you can write submit and give a type of submit and in the form in the form type just give the on submit event and inside just pass this handle submit function and we will define this function after this handle input change so we write const handle submit uh, it will be a event a callback function and uh, we will write event dot prevent so if the user hasn't feel anything and if you try to submit then with the help of event dot prevent evolve it will avoid the submission and uh, after that i will log the data so i will write form data dot fields okay so let's suppose if i open my console okay and let's suppose if i write with Vic and 23 click on submit you will see an array of object will be created with the name and value and we have this indexing so let's suppose if i create another field and if i write with is 33 click on submit you will see array of object will be two name is with Vic first one and name is with is for the second one same if i remove the first one so now the second one remains so that is something uh, we have implemented this logic for the dynamic form 
and you can create the form uh, on the basis of your need so that is something we have implemented our knowledge so we have this the handle input change which is responsible for generating the new form data and same we have the remove field which are basically uh, which is basically splicing the uh, fields and on the basis of handle submit we are submitting the form data dot fields in the console part and we have this use state uh, which is containing an array of object uh, which is name and value so and here you can see uh, we have a basic jsx we have this form data dot fields dot map and on the basis of the add field it is mapping the data so that is something we have implemented our knowledge and uh, you can also try adding some more fields and try to make this form attractive try to add some more css and uh, this is up to you you can modify this part of code so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching